So we're at Dolby Forest today. We're going to do the red route. I've just done the sheer blue red climb out of the car park. It was raining, so unfortunately I've got no footage of that. So it just looked rubbish. Um, so there's a few escape routes. So if you feel as though you're bitten off more than you can chew, you can just go back down to the car park um, and then join the blue. So, which I think is a great idea because a lot of people aren't sure of their own abilities, but it's nice just to feel as though you can try the red and then if it is too much, then you can just use one of the escape chutes. So, great idea. So, it 31 kilometers the red and it's a bit rainy so the footage might be a bit sketchy but uh, I'm going to try and show you all the best bits and I've read a lot about this and a lot of people have recommended it so I'm really looking forward to it so let's see what Dolby Forest has got to offer so nice pumpy flowy sections intermingle with the climbs so it's not just a big steep climb you've got a look you've got a few flowy pumpy sections to keep you entertained as you're going round the first red section is quite technical so if you can't do that then I would advise you to take one of the escape routes and go back on the blue but I do like it when they do that they put some technical uh, bits on the trail just to so you can you can gauge your own ability so you don't just get halfway around then suddenly it turns really steep or really technical So, there, so everything seems to be rolled up but well, if you've got pace you can use the little features as jumps which is great fun do little drops but nothing too major really pump the bike through these and if you can keep off the brakes ooh, and not hit trees then uh, then you shouldn't need to do that much pedaling yeah and then we've got a little climb so that is exactly what Dolby is about. 
So you've got a run of a few minutes of little downhills and then a little climb and then a little technical section so it keeps you interested all the way around it's not just a massive slog at the start and then a gravity berm and jump section going down true Dolby fashion you get a little taste of a downhill and then you've got to earn the next one with a little bit of up now my uh, poster number 13 you can go red or black I'm gonna go down the red because I'm doing the full red today and this looks funny enough for me Nice little drop off as you uh, get on the trail. There we go, a few little bumpy sections that you can turn into a jump. sweepy flowy berms here yeah oh right this way Ooh. pumpable jumps there Now, this looks like it's getting a bit more serious. Whoa. Yeah, there's a few little uh, features down here. Oh <laughs> yeah, this keeps you up on your toes. shoot there <laughs> into some tight little berms at the bottom now this is a really fun little section here start off with a rock garden <laughs> into a berm and then there's a log right in the middle that's a drop off or a jump Wah! and then we go into some nice built up berms with some technical features this is the most technical part so far Oh. 
short and sharp. Bike down, try and grip. Oh. And then switch back berms on the way down. Still quite pedally through this section, so it's got to be careful for pedal strikes when you're going around the berms, if you can call them berms. Oh, here we go. Few little pumpy sections. Yeah, it's really flowy, and actually, you probably could pump it through here. We jumps they I like to put in a few little features just to keep you keep you on your toes and also stops you getting bored Down, down, down. Let's go. Whoa. Yeah, when they said drop, that is definitely a drop. Right, and I'm assuming this is the last run into the car park, so here we go. A couple of little jump set, uh, drop offs. Ooh. <laughs> so, to round up, I really enjoyed the Dolby Red Trail. I would describe it as a long cross-country trail with some steep technical sections and lots of small ups and downs. So if you're confident on the blue, I would definitely give this trail a go. 
Thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up and for more mountain bike and van life videos please hit subscribe.